Unit 1, Anatomy and Physiology. Section 1, Joints. Okay, so today's screencast is looking at the different types of joints available in the human body. So there are three different types of joint, and they are classified depending on how stable the joint is. So the most stable type of joint is a fibrous or fixed joint. We then have cartilaginous joints, which are slightly movable, and so they have a reasonable stability. And then we have the most common type of joint, which is a synovial joint, and this is the least stable of the three. So let's look at these three different types of joint in a little bit more detail. So fixed joints. Fixed joints allow no movement at all. So these are not maybe what you think of when you think of a joint in the human body, but this is where two bones meet and there is no movement. So a great example of this is in between the different plates inside the skull. So these, the skull is actually composed a bit like a jigsaw uh, and the pieces of the skull are slotted together. And those, those are still called joints, even though uh, you know, there's no movement, they are fixed joints. And you actually have this fibrous connective tissue, it's like a very hard glue that actually glues uh, the skull together. But they do count as a joint because two bones are meeting. We then have cartilaginous joints. Now, these are where there is a small amount of movement, and this is because instead of this hard glue that we have in a fixed joint, you have cartilage, which is a spongy material. And so, again, a good example of this would be in between the different vertebrae in the spine. So there's a small amount of movement here uh, that it's allowed. And lastly, we have synovial joints. This is the third type. Now these, uh, you know, there is quite a bit of movement allowed in these, certainly more than the other two types, um, but there is a varying degree of movement depending on the structure. Uh, so, you know, you might recognise some of the, uh, the joints labelled here, and actually synovial joints can be broken down into six further subcategories. So, you might have come across some of these before. So synovial joints are the freely movable ones, but they can be subbroken down into another six types of joint. Okay, so let's look at these in a little bit more detail. So first off, we've got a ball and socket joint. Uh, a ball and socket joint allows for uh, movement in almost any direction. One end of the bone is shaped as a ball, and it fits nicely into a socket. So it allows that sort of 360 degree movement. And so this is where we find our hip and shoulder joints. So a really good uh, freely movable joint to have. As you can see here, it really allows that full range of motion uh, because of that design that it has. Uh, then we have the hinge joint. Now the hinge joint has self-explanatory really, uh, a little bit like a hinge. It only really allows movement in one plane. So it's not very multi-dimensional, uh, but the elbows, for example, and the knee are great examples of this. They just allow flexion and extension. And again, you can see the hinge joint in the knee or the elbow, very similar to a, to a hinge in real life. Then we have a pivot joint. This is the third type. Uh, a pivot joint is uh, it allows rotation on an axis. Now, normally what we have here is we have a peg shape that fits into a hole. So the, a great example again of this would be the neck, uh, and that allows our neck or our head to just rotate around, but it doesn't allow a huge amount of other movement. So again, you can see here, one bone is the peg, one bone is the hole, and they move around each other. And again, a great example of this is the neck. Uh, we also have the condyloid joint, and the condyloid joint can be found around a variety of different places. And this allows, uh, this is probably the most complicated joint where it has two surfaces, but it allows movement in two planes. So sort of a, a forward and back and a side to side. Um, usually you're not able to rotate this joint because ligaments stop that. And again, an example of this would be the wrist. And this is an example of a condyloid joint sort of in 3D. So it allows two different planes of movement. We also have the saddle joint, um, and again, you can see sort of allows a, you know two different planes of movement here, back and forth and up and down. And again, um, it doesn't allow rotation because it doesn't have that full sort of 360 degrees. It's you know got a, a particular shape that prevents it from having that. And a great example of this is the thumb joint. So you can see it allows this sort of rocking movement side to side, but again, doesn't allow full rotation like a ball and socket joint. And so we also have gliding joint. 
Now the gliding joint is literally where the two surfaces of the bone just rub over each other. So there's no particular bony features that make up the joint, they literally just rub over each other. Um, uh, and really this is where you have very very limited movement. So this is quite often found in the mid carpal and mid tarsal joints in the hands and the feet. So you can see the bone surfaces just move over each other um, rather than in a particular articulation. Okay, so these six types of synovial joint are the ones that we quite often look at in sport. Uh, and you can see that these are the ones that really create movement in the human body. So, in summary, there are three classifications of joints, or three categories we can put joints into. Those are uh, fixed, cartilaginous, and synovial. Okay, and then within synovial, there are then more options. So, our fixed joint on the right there, um, this is the one that is quite often found in places like the, the skull uh, and because it's fixed there is no movement it's just where the bones have been almost glued together. Cartilaginous um, are the ones where we have cartilage involved and quite often again found in the uh, in the vertebrae, in the skeleton uh, and again a small amount of movement is allowed. And then lastly we have synovial joints, they're the ones we're really interested in and they're the 